Do you feel like you are spending a lot of time mixing your low end but it does not sound the way you want it to? You're worried that is not punchy enough or not that wide? Using all sort of distortion and sub-generators but when you listen to the tune in the car it just falls apart and sounds actually boxy? And it just makes you feel like you are on this hamster wheel of mixing that never seems to end and it drains you. But what if I were to tell you that you never have to feel like that again because I discovered something that made my mixes punchy when I stopped focusing on the sub frequencies. It even gave me a secret weapon which every time I use my mixes sound clean and exactly how I imagined before mixing it. I have spent hours, days to get the right amount of low end that earth shaking sub and it felt right in the studio but as soon as I took it out to my car it sounded really weird just too much and boxy. I have also had this habit to mix in solo and cut a lot of mid-range and boost the lows and the highs. And my kick sounded great in solo but in the mix it just disappeared. I was exhausted of the lack of results until I decided to do some research and buy some speakers that translates well. I've read a lot of reviews about the Yamaha NS10 but I don't have this big space for those speakers so I decided to go with a smaller and newer version, a pair of HS7. And it's probably the best decision I ever made regarding sound. I've listened to my mixes on the new set of speakers and it sounded boxy, but very quickly it started to translate well because I could hear the problems and this shifted my focus on elements that lies in the mid-range. I've started creating space to each instrument, making sure they all contribute just as they need to. When I listened to my mix a day later, I felt my kick and bass was popping and nicely blended because I realized that the power is in the low mids and that's where we need more attention. I could finally hear that 150 and 500 hertz area is very sensitive and crucial to a good mix. And I could make decisions on what instrument to attenuate there and what to boost. And if I have to check my subs I just use my headphones and I can monitor it easily. And the same thing happened with the highs too. I've used to saturate and boost my highs like crazy to get the night sheen. But with the new speakers I immediately could hear the problems. And what I really needed to nail is about 2 to 5 kHz area. And these mid-range frequencies are the ones that determine what has energy and what is upfront in the mix. So what I realized is that I got to space out my drums, 808, vocal and other instrumental element in that mid-range area. It doesn't mean that I carve out each instrument but I definitely needed to make some difficult decision and there always be some overlap. And managing this critical mid-range and getting certain things to stand out but getting the glue without sounding harsh or boxy is absolutely crucial. So I've started to have better translation and my mix started to have more energy. Because if you think, the listeners will listen your song on all sorts of devices like AirPods, smartphones, laptop or in the car and your mix has to translate well on every device. And I normally check my mixes on laptop or cell phone speakers because I know if on those it sounds good then it probably will sound good everywhere. So I've also realized if I nail that mid-range area then those extreme lows and those extreme highs will take care of themselves. So let me show you a couple of techniques and examples I'm using. For example here is this tune, the project is not too large. Let's listen to it first. In in inflation hit but been in the struggle. It's hard to make moves like a sore muscle Donated plasma, I was scared to make some plays uh, Said f**k it, got a hat, we gon' make it double, double. Sleep the cousin the deaf and no call it I show you my channels And you can see I made a lot of low cuts on the instrumentals And it automatically helped me create space for the 808 So that low sub can come through clean So I'm gonna select all the channels Except the 808 Let's listen to it first without the EQs in in inflation hit but been in the struggle It's hard to make moves like a sore muscle Donated plasma, I was scared to make some plays uh, Said f**k it, got a hat, we gon' make it double no. Sleep the cousin the death and don't call a doubt Like cash bail, only money gone And now when I turn them on in in Inflation hit but been in the struggle it's hard to make moves like a sore muscle Donated plasma, I was scared to make some plays uh, Said f**k it, got a hat, we gon' make it double
you could hear immediately that mix sounded cleaner. Another important decision I had to make on this tune is on this guitar melody. You can see I made a heavy processing on this channel. Um, I used a lot of multiband compression and dynamic EQ, EQ. You can see a steep cut. It's not normally I would do on a guitar but on this case it worked. Let's focus on this melody and listen to the vocal when I turn on the processing. So let's turn it off and let's listen to it. In in inflation hit but been in the struggle. It's hard to make moves like a sore muscle. Donated plasma, I was scared to make some plays. Uh, Sip it got a hat, we going You can hear it's fighting with the vocal and with other instrumental element. Now when I turn back on. In in inflation hit but been in the struggle. It's hard to make moves like a sore muscle. Donated plasma, I was scared to make some plays. Uh, Sip it got a hat, we going make it double. double. You could hear immediately that it's not fighting anymore with the vocal and that vocal just pops. Don't be afraid to make these hard decisions and don't worry if it sounds bad in solo but the point is that it has to sound good in the context. And just to show you what I did on the low end, all I did is just I used an EQ and boost a little bump there to get a little knock and I used the inflator to get more loudness out of it. And that's all I did. So let's listen it without and when I turn them back on. In in inflation hit but been in the struggle It's hard to make moves like a sore muscle Donated plasma, I was scared to make some plays So now when I turn it on in in Inflation hit but been in the struggle It's hard to make moves like a sore muscle Donated plasma, I was scared to make some plays and it actually took me a couple of minutes to mix my low end. Okay, so now that I showed you a couple of tricks and examples on instrumental, you might want to know my method on vocals too. So go ahead and watch this video next, where I show you my detailed process on vocals. See you there.